Hello and welcome to The Lost Executive. In this video today, we're going to be covering everything to do with glamping. If you've never been glamping, I promise you, after this video, you'll be booking that trip ASAP. My name is Hope, here as your guide, your mentor, to take you through the portmanteau of the words glamorous and camping, which translates into a style of camping with luxuries that usual camping just could not provide. Before we start today, hit that like button and click subscribe so you never miss any of our videos. Let's jump straight in. Glamping, otherwise known as comfy camping, luxury camping, posh camping, or boutique camping, put in its simplest form, it's the merger of the words glamorous and camping. Designed for those who want to feel close to the outdoors with an added touch of luxury rather than the typical sleeping bag on the floor that you would expect from traditional camping. The term was first coined in 2005 here in the UK and has grown in popularity since, spreading out to countries such as the US and throughout Europe. While glamping is considered a new form of experiential hospitality, it is in fact much older and this style of experiential travel has for a long time been a prominent factor in travel and adventure, something that we'll touch on more later on. Each glamping experience is seen as a unique trip because each site can be designed by the site owner. Much of these sites are unregulated which gives more flexibility in what site owners are able to do. Let's begin our journey through glamping by looking at the history. Though the term was coined back in 2005, it wasn't until 2016 that the Oxford English Dictionary finally added the term glamping to its records, by which point it had been growing substantially in popularity and had become its own standalone segment of the industry. This acknowledgement in the dictionary just kind of cemented that. You may believe that glamping is a new phenomenon, but you would be wrong. Yes, the term used to describe combining the luxurious accommodations of the outdoors is relatively new. The concept of combining luxurious accommodations with rustic structures such as igloos, yurts and tents is far from a new ideology. Let's rewind all the way back to the 16th century where the Scottish Earl of Athol prepared for his trip to visit King James V and his mother by pitching lavish tents and filling them with provisions and belongings from his palace. And let's not forget the most famous example of olden day glamping, the Field of the Cloth of Gold, a diplomatic summit and extravagant tournament held in 1520 between Henry VIII and King Francis I of France. 2,800 tents were erected and there was fountains of red wine. This is somewhere I would have liked to have been, minus Henry VIII's habit of, you know, chopping people's heads off. Around this same period, the Ottomans had ostentatious palatial tents transported from one military to the next. When speaking about this, Professor Nuram Atasoy said, the exquisite ornamentation both inside and out of the tents used by the Ottoman sultans made them imposing dwellings fit for a ruler. The imperial tents were richly decorated as if they were pavilions and often had designs resembling tiled panels, usually in floral patterns. Did you know that the African savannah and safari has had a huge impact on the glamping industry? No? Don't worry. Come with me and let's jump forward a few hundred years and look at the influence of safari on glamping. In the 1920s, travellers would visit the African savannah, which provided the perfect open grassland to pitch up lavish tents and fill them with luxurious furnishings. These wealthy elite would bring with them an entourage of staff who would all travel on horseback, who would then set up the camp, sort out the living quarters and prepare meals on dining room silver, all whilst the aristocracy and wealthy visitors would sightsee and do a little bit of hunting. This time is known as the Age of Privilege. Foreign nations had expanded into areas such as Africa and India and claimed huge chunks of land. To these wealthy travellers, they were entitled to the land, they wanted to enjoy it, and of course, they had to be comfortable. I've got, I've got to tell you, I'm not a fan of these people, but uh, yeah, I digress. Travellers were afforded every domestic luxury, from cases of champagne to folding baths and electric generators. And the term coined the golden age of safaris was soon used to describe the lavish experience that the safari was given to the wealthy elite. You can, to this day, experience the golden age of safari. All you need to do is make sure that you choose the correct travel company and they will ensure all the authenticity that your heart desires. 
Today's modern day glamping experience is kind of based on this golden age of safari combined with modern day technology. Say hello to camping holidays with Wi-Fi. These technologically modified, unique and flashy camping sites are popping up everywhere. And you can have such a unique and creative experience now rather than just staying in a tent alone. You can stay in vintage caravans or tree houses. There really is something for everyone and we're gonna cover that later on in this video. With this expansion comes opportunity, there comes profit. With more and more of these sites popping up left, right and centre, site owners need to make sure that their style is more unique than ever. Because competition is tough. Nowadays, the choices for travellers are alarming. There really is something for everyone. If comfort and reliability is your thing, then you can stay in a wooden cabin or lodge, complete with hot showers, fireplace and hot tub. Or you can spend your time in a caravan and get a fantastic night's sleep. Maybe you don't care about sleep. Maybe you like living life on the edge. Think you're an adrenaline junkie, eh? All right, well, how about this for proving yourself? You can glamp cliffside in a safari tent, or why not stay in a tree house like Tarzan? Maybe a repurposed train carriage or shipping container is more your style. You can do all of that and more. One of the reasons glamping sites have become more popular in recent years is due to social media. We all know that on these apps, news travels really, really fast, and influencers and social media gurus who vlog on YouTube, for example, need an experience that's unique and interesting in order to wow their audience. In many industries nowadays, social media is a key modern day marketing tool and the glamping industry is no exception to that rule. Even glamping sites that promote a complete social detox and don't even have Wi-Fi for their guests use social media to promote that experience. Social media isn't the only way that site owners can big up their glamping sites. Websites such as Airbnb and Booking.com have enabled site owners to attract new guests that way too. Are you looking for a glamping supplier? Because I have just the answer for you. Outstanding tents. Deeply passionate about their product, innovative with their design and forward thinking with their marketing and development, Outstanding Tent sprung out of Europe back in 2014 and have had a resounding impact on the glamping industry. If not one of the first glamping suppliers to take the industry seriously, they are definitely one of the most innovative and customer focused. Since being founded in 2014 from their home in the Netherlands, they have found success after success, which usually happens when you combine a great idea with a definite need. In the last couple of years, they have seen extreme growth as they've completely diversified their brand to suit all potential safari tent applications and with a commitment to a 100% satisfaction guarantee Outstanding tents have a reputation amongst clients for excellence that is worthy of their namesake. At the start of their journey, they were importing safari tents from foreign manufacturers in Pakistan. But this didn't last long, bearing in mind their firm belief of market research, listening to clients and being proactive, they soon took control of their own stock. This has given Outstanding Tents even more room to design, improve and supply their own tents. With having complete control over their own supply chain, Outstanding Tents have been able to be really flexible with their customers and have been able to supply tents to businesses of all sizes. Whether you're a big hospitality brand with extremely deep pockets, or if you're a landowner or farm owner who just wants to dip your toe into the world of glamping to see what all the fuss is about, I recommend that you contact Outstanding Tents as they'll be able to support you. Some of their projects include Arena 199 in Croatia, Dyer Parking in Norway, and parties such as Vacan Select and Vacan Soleil. Outstanding Tents have sold their product in more than 52 countries. And to find out about each individual market, they work extremely closely with ground agents in the UK, USA, Japan, and Spain, just to name a few. These agents provide crucial, bleeding edge information about their industry and have been a crucial part of their rapidly expanding network. Outstanding is all about quality. 
plugging in to the needs and the wants of their chosen industry, Outstanding Tents have designed and created eight different types of glamping style tents, which vary in height, size and appearance. This means they've got the perfect tent for each unique customer. You want a small tent with just two beds? No sweat. You want stylish accommodation for a large group of execs? No problem. A safari tent with a terrace over the water? Tents on hills? Tents in trees, tents hanging off trees, tents on mountain sides, on corporate grounds. You name it, they have done it and they are always up for a challenge. Those personal touches. Outstanding tents also supply complete interior designs and have a huge range for customers to choose from. From their best known safari adventure range to their brand new Glampin Cheek, they understand the importance of those little touches and that hotel feel. There is also a lot to be said about the quality of the tents, from the production, the materials and the style, and understanding and appreciating those that love to sleep in a tent. Showrooms. With a large showroom in the Netherlands, which features a virtual tour, you can see the link at the bottom of this video. Outstanding Tents have just opened a new showroom in the UK and are expanding worldwide. These showrooms allow people to get a real feel for the tents themselves. A great example of this is in Melbourne at the Glamping Village, where people can go in, get a real sense of Outstanding Tents, experience it before signing that dotted line. For those who are starting a glamping site or for those who are already established, it's a brilliant opportunity to see what is brewing in one of the largest businesses in the sector. On the 24th till the 27th of September, this year in the UK, the showroom doors are opening for four days dedicated to glamping. The open days include guided tours through the most popular safari tents, a special surprise guest, an exclusive look at trends and glamping accessories, and even free entrance. Because of hesitations and concerns about COVID-19, Outstanding Tents are offering two sessions, an AM and a PM. And in each session, there'll be 50 people who are able to attend at any given time. For more information on this and to book your slots, head over to the Outstanding Tents Facebook or their website. You can find all of the links at the bottom of this video. And if you have any questions for Outstanding Tents or any questions in relation to this video at all, do drop us a line in the comment section below. Whilst many business owners are really pleased that websites such as Airbnb exist, there has been some controversy over the use of these sites, as some glamping site owners are charging extortionate fees for minimal experience. With legislation being, well, <laughs> pretty, non-existent, it can lead to site owners being able to be creative and be flexible and create a really magical, memorable experience for their customers. But at the same rate, it can lead to site owners buying a wigwam, buying a geodesic dome and setting it up in their back garden and calling that a glamping site. In an interview in 2019 with the Glamping Show director, it was said that the payment structure needs to be regulated to ensure that sites are charging a fair price for their accommodation. This ensures that standards can be met across the board and that the guest experience isn't sacrificed. On the flip side of the controversy, Glamping has proved to be a really good opportunity for entrepreneurs or those wanting to get into hospitality. So glamping as an industry continues to grow in popularity, there's more sites than ever. Everyone's winning. <laughs> Except the hotel industry. Hotels have that advantage of the fact they can book more guests at any given time. But when was the last time you had a memorable experience at a hotel? It's, it's hard to think of one, isn't it? And then there's the varying prices. Now, unless hotels start to innovate, be more creative and look at glamping and try to create an experience for their guests, they're in danger of becoming just a place to lay one's head. Look at it this way, glamping is actually part of the creative industry and as time goes on that's only going to keep growing and getting better. This is one reason why sites became busy even during the most testing and weirdest time of our lifetimes, lockdown. 
It would be impossible for us to have an episode about hospitality without touching on the effects of the COVID-19 virus and the subsequent lockdown and what it's done to the industry. None of us have been unaffected by the virus, with tens of millions of people losing their jobs, their businesses or their homes. When coronavirus struck the world, the whole planet was basically put under house arrest and the hospitality industry and the travel industry was effectively shot in the head. Now that is not an understatement. No one could travel, whole businesses had to close and entire refunds for trips had to be given to travellers. However, where hotels and resorts were struggling, glamping sites were thriving. In comparison to the astronomical costs it takes to run a hotel or a resort. Glamping is quite affordable and the industry is definitely lighter on its feet. Quite an affordable way to take a break and stay away led to many glamping sites opening to allow people to stay there away from family members who are perhaps shielding. Many sites are designed to promote feelings of isolation and privacy, which has been perfect for corona times. Now that lockdown has for the most part eased, hotels, bed and breakfast, hostels aren't really seeing an increase in their bookings. In fact, some of the most popular hotels in Edinburgh, for example, are only seeing a booking rate of 7%. Meanwhile, glamping sites, <laughs> they're continuing to see an increase because people can leave the house, have a change of scenery, but continue to socially distance. In fact, I've actually booked my own glamping trip for the end of next month because I feel like it's the only truly safe way to get a change of scenery right now. After being under house arrest, it's no wonder that many people want to get out and about and escape the shackles of lockdown. With glamping sites promoting the idea of privacy and the outdoors, the wonders of solitude, combined with the beautiful views, it's no wonder we're continuing to see an increase in bookings. What better way to get a change of scenery but to stay socially distanced than staying in a tree house? To help glamping sites establish themselves and to help lay the rails for the industry, each year the glamping show is held in the UK. It's an opportunity for everyone from the industry to meet and connect, from suppliers to engineers and constructors. A showcase of the most wonderful accommodations, a vital one-stop resource for those in the industry to get the latest updates on what is happening from equipment and supply updates to government legislation. Karen Cook, MD of the glamping show organisers Swan Events, explains we do everything we can to ensure that the event is representative of the industry as a whole. We welcome any and all businesses that operate within the glamping sector. 2020 has been an incredibly challenging time for the hospitality industry, which has been plagued with uncertainty and a lack of information. Now that the industry is reopening, glamping site operators are finding themselves in a more fortunate position than others in the sector. With quarantine restrictions being placed on a number of countries, many are making the decision to opt for a staycation as opposed to a holiday abroad. Going abroad seems more hassle than it's worth at the moment. Am I right? Glamping sites are better suited to imposing the new rules required by the government when compared to other hospitality sectors, due to the fact that sites are often designed in such a way to promote seclusion and privacy before corona even happened. This means that social distancing is a lot more achievable. If we look ahead, there are still many uncertainties about further lockdowns and restrictions, but the glamping sector is far better placed than many to deal with these concerns. The glamping show provides the ability to get up to date with what's been happening in the world of glamping, from new products to vital information on how to bounce back and thrive after lockdown. So if you're looking to find out more about glamping, or maybe you want to improve and innovate your own site, it is definitely something you should consider attending. Glamping is an extremely fast evolving machine. Sites are constantly being developed and adapted to ensure the best experience possible for the visitor. The sense of escapism and being close to nature benefits the psychology of the traveller whilst also allowing them to have their home comforts. 
The possibilities of glamping are now endless. You can glamp in safaris, jungles, savannas, icebergs, deserts, at the bottom of mines and caves. And as these glamping site owners continue to improvise and innovate, we could see glamping sites popping up in Antarctica or at the bottom of the sea. Wherever there is an experience to be had, there is a glamp in sight wanting to offer it to you. Thank you so much for watching this video with me, Hope. The Lost Executive will be dropping more and more videos on a variety of topics, from renewable projects to mining to safaris to tours, the hospitality industry through to fine dining and the creation of a surfboard. Each episode is based on editorial research, but if we have got anything wrong or you want to add something, just comment below. All relevant links are provided and if you've enjoyed this video, which I know you have, give us a cheeky like, hit subscribe and make sure you click on that bell icon so you never miss any of our videos.